Hey Jack, what are we gonna draw today? A Christmas train. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. We always hope you follow along with us because art is always better with a friend. Yeah. Or and, a dad. Or yeah, and lots of friends. Yeah. Or anyone from your family. Yes. <laughs> what art supplies did they need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah. All right, let's start. We're first gonna draw the ground for our train to ride on. We're gonna draw some snow. We're gonna start right, right about here, and I'm gonna draw a wavy line going across the page. Nice. Now right here in the middle, we're gonna draw a big circle for the first wheel on our train. Then we're gonna draw two smaller wheels in front of that wheel. So I'm gonna draw them about this size, and another one right next to it. Now let's turn these into candies, little mints. We're gonna start by putting a point in the center of each of the circles. Then we're gonna divide up each circle, kind of like pizza. We're gonna go around and add lines that go all the way around our wheel. Now we're gonna repeat the same step for the two smaller wheels also. Now this part will we'll fast forward, but remember you guys at home or in your classroom can pause the video and take time to finish this step. Now let's draw a line that's going to connect the big wheel to the small wheel. We're gonna imagine that line going behind that wheel and connecting to the front small one. This is the bottom of our train. Then we're gonna draw a, we'll imagine that going through and drawing a small line in front of that wheel. Next, we're gonna draw a long line that comes up and it's in between the big wheel and the small wheel. Yeah, now let's draw a line that goes over and then back down. Now I'm gonna stop about the same distance as the bottom of the train over here so that we can connect in and it looks like the bottom of the train goes all the way through each of the wheels. Now let's draw a window right here. I'm gonna draw an L shape and then we'll draw an upside down L shape to complete the rectangle. All right, now let's draw the front of our train. We'll draw another line coming up. And then we're gonna connect that into the back of the train. Next, we're gonna draw a triangle. Right here, we'll draw a line, a diagonal line that comes down almost close to the, then we're gonna draw a line that's a little bit longer here, and then connect to the front of the diagonal line. Isn't it the plow? Yeah, that kind of pushes the snow out of the way, or cows, yeah. if they're on the train track. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna draw a big C shape. Now let's draw the smokestack. We'll draw a rectangle shape. We're gonna draw two lines that come up, and then we can connect them at the top. Now let's draw two diagonal lines that come out of the front, one out of the front and one out of the back. Then let's connect those two lines. <laughs> I'm gonna draw two short lines coming up. And then we'll connect those lines also at the top. All right, now let's draw the very top of our smokestack. We'll draw two more diagonal lines and these ones are tipped in and then we can connect those also. Let's draw a small little roof. We'll draw two short lines up and then connect those lines also. Now let's draw our train with one car. We're gonna draw two small wheels back here. And we're gonna repeat a lot of the same steps that we did for the wheels up here. Let's draw a point in the middle and then divide it up so the, that these wheels look like candies also. We're gonna go all the way around and we'll fast forward this part also. Now let's draw the bottom of our car, kind of like we did for the engine. We're gonna draw a short line that goes through the middle. We'll imagine it going behind the wheel, connecting the two wheels together, and then coming out the back. Now let's draw a long line up on the front, and then also the back that matches. Then let's connect those two lines at the very top and let's also draw a top to this car. 
I'm going to draw a curve that comes up around and we can turn this into a candy cane too or have stripes on it like a candy cane. Let's draw small diagonal lines that go across the top. All right, let's connect the car to the engine. We'll draw two lines that connect it. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Christmas train, except we still need to do one more thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, well, we need to color our trains. They're gonna look so much better colored in. And we're also gonna add a few extra details. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, great job on coloring your Christmas train. It turned out perfect. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring and even add the same details or you could add different details like a Christmas tree or even Santa Claus driving the train. Yeah. What else could they add? More candy. Oh, more candy would be awesome. We hope you had a lot of fun driving your Christmas train. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you have fun adding more things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.